Welcome to the part 1 of the camera tracker for After Effects 201 training series. This is the first of a two-part tutorial. In this section, we'll track and insert some animated graffiti. In the second section, we'll integrate particular to do some light sweep work. The video assets starting and finished After Effects projects are available to download on our website so that you guys can follow along. Before we actually go into track our shot, uh, we have to fix the lens distortion because uh, the lens distortion is going to give the camera tracker a wrong information. So there's two ways to fix uh, the lens distortion. Within the camera tracker, there's a section called lens distortion. If you um, select known lens and put a check mark on and distort, um, it actually allows you to fix the lens distortion. And another way to fix it is to uh, it's go to Distort, Optics Compensation, and reverse the Lens Distortion. And let's give it um, a value of 20, 20. So all the line looks pretty straight, maybe a little bit more. 22. Uncheck the optimal pixels to get rid of the black edges. Go to layer, pre-compose, and click OK. So now we have um, our fix, uh, our undistorted image. And now we can actually go to camera tracker and also bring in our <coughs> uh, garbage mat. So I have a sequence of the garbage mat because this is the area that I don't want the camera tracker to track. And select mat alpha. On the mat layer, we're going to select track mat. So let's track the shot. Uh, so we have tracked the features, so the next thing we're going to solve the camera. It's giving us a, val uh, a reprojection error va a value of 0 0.883. In order to refine that, we're going to open up the Refine tab. Also press on the U. Uh, this is the failure that we're going to fix. The first thing that um, I'm going to do is to get rid of all these red uh, features on the back. So let's solve the camera again. So, uh, much better, 0 0.659 pixels. <clears throat> After we clicked on create scene, we're gonna, uh, it's going, the camera tracker is going to generate a track camera, also a null object. And Right now, if we toggle it into 3D space, and we have to be, be careful when we're in the active camera mode. You don't want to orbit around with it while you're uh, in active camera mode. You always want to switch it to custom view, otherwise you're going to modify your track camera. So right now, here is uh, the point cloud that we get after we track the shot. Basically. Here's the wall, and here's the floor. So as you can see, the wall is pretty straight. So now we're going to define the ground plane. So just select a few features on the floor. And go to ground plane set to select it.
And now, if we toggle back into the 3D space again, you can see uh, the point cloud of the of the floor is perfectly aligned to the grid. So now let's create a solid on the wall. <clears throat> so just select a few of these features and create a wall. I uh, create a solid. So it looks pretty good to me. Also create another one on the floor. So select a few points on the floor and create a solid. So also fix the rotation a little bit. So now we have the wall, also the floor. Uh, we're gonna keep the original as a reference. So um, right now we have the solid on the background and we can go to select our animated flourish. Uh, hold on Alt, select the layer on the sequence on the timeline, and select the uh, the layer that you're going to replace with, and Alt, alternate drag. So now, I've just replaced this on the floor. So turn the opacity all the way up to 100. <clears throat> Right now I'm trying to put the motion element in the right position by replacing the red solid that generated from the camera tracker point cloud. Also replace the one on the wall. So select this solid, the red solid, and alt drag. <clears throat> Scale it down a little bit. Turn the opacity all the way back up to 100. And reposition it a little bit, drag it along the x-axis. We can duplicate a few more. Let's create some color correction for this animated uh, graphics. Let's go to generate and fill. Fill with maybe a red color and multiply it to the uh, to the wall. Well let's keep it this way and apply it to the rest of it and also multiply it to the wall. Press on the open bracket key and everything is going to line up. The next thing is, since we have 250 frames of animation, we want to overlap all of them by uh, 240 frames. So it looks like they're growing. So it looks pretty good right now. Let's um, bring in the roto person. So I've already prepared a roto of this person. So now we can actually separate the background and the foreground. This is the end of the first part. In the next section, we'll look at using camera tracker with particular to generate some light sweep on the same footage.